And I can't wait till we can break apart to hear me if I seem a little unimpressed with this an antisocial pessimist. Hey guys, Mankind here, bringing you a tutorial video on how to set up the WoW add-on Trade Skill Master, also known as TSM. Now, if you don't know what Trade Skill Master is, it is an add-on that's pretty in-depth. Uh, it lets you take your auctioning and your crafting abilities to the next level. Uh, it has a lot of automation into it, and it just makes your overall experience a little easier when it comes to posting a lot of auctions or if you need to get pricing uh, there's so many different things but we're going to jump right into it and i'm going to show you uh start off how to get the add-on so first you're going to open your browser all right and go to tradeskillmaster.com tradeskillmaster.com now in the very top of the screen you will see a drop down menu that says add-on Go ahead and click the overview slash download button. And in this page, there's a list of all the modules and a little bit about them. If you wanted to take a moment to read them, you can kind of see all the functions of TSM and what it can do for you. Um, and to get the really the full potential out of it, you should download all of these modules. Uh, they make it pretty easy. We're just going to at the very top of the screen, we're going to click the button that says download all via curse add on pack. And that's, that's going to take us right to Curse. And you're going to click this button right here, Install via Curse Client. Now, if you don't have the Curse Client, I highly recommend that you do get it. It makes updating your add-ons uh, a lot easier than actually going to the website every time. If you don't have the Curse Client, on this page at the very top, the second option in says Client. You just click there. And then click Download for PC. And that will download and install the Curse Client. So once you've done that, you're just going to go back to the page we were just at. Or if you already have it, just click Install via Curse Client. And we'll give that a moment. And that's going to download the add-on and all, I believe, 10 modules automatically. And there we have it. The add-on and all the modules are installed successfully. Can close out of the curse client we are done with that for now now the next step is we have to create an account on trade skill masters website so that it knows how to get us the pricing information we're looking for so go to tradeskillmaster.com on the right hand side of the screen you'll see user login click create an account now here you're going to enter a username i'm just going to do a test name because i already have a main account and kind TV and I'm not going to use my email because I already have an account so I'm just going to use a fake one just for a test use one of these 10 minute mails enter your email address and create a password once you set up these realms there's really no need to even come back onto this account unless you want to add or delete a realm so, and don't be worried about getting any kind of spam or anything. Trade Skill Master never spams you with any kind of emails. I've never gotten anything. So once you do create the account, you just have to wait a moment for the uh, verification email to come through because you cannot log in until you verify your email address. And there it is. And we will verify. And your account has been activated. You may now log in. Hooray. So... At the very top of the screen again, user login and sign in. And we're going to use the email address you signed up with and your password and sign in. And believe it or not, we're almost done. So now that we're signed in, up where our name is, we're going to hover over there. And the first option is Realm Selection. Go ahead and choose there. Now it's going to take us to this screen. And all we're going to do here is add our realm. You're going to choose whether you play on US or EU. I play on US. And my server is Thrall. You choose that and hit add realm. Now you can add several realms. You can add EU, US realms. If you play on several realms, some people do. You can add 
multiple realms. And likewise, if you want to remove realms, you just come back to this page and choose remove. I only play on this one realm, so that's all I'm going to choose. As far as Trade Skill Master's website is concerned, I'm just about done. The only thing we need to do now is download the desktop application. What the desktop application does is automatically syncs um, the auction data for your realms that you have listed here to the Trade Skill Master add-on that we just installed a few minutes ago. And it does this all, it's all streamlined. Once it's set up, you really have no work to do. So hover over desktop app, choose overview slash download. And the download now for Windows and Mac, it's just going to scroll you all the way to the bottom of the page and choose whether you're a Windows or Mac. I'm a Windows user and we will let that download. And install it pretty straightforward next next um, I deleted my copy so I could show you guys how to install it so yes I want to overwrite install and finish we are done with the trade skill master website we can close right out of it and now we're going to open up the desktop application and configure it uh, by default it's going to be in start programs, Trade Skill Master application, and TSM application. This should be the only time you ever have to open it like this. After we configure it, it's going to run automatically. You're going to use the same email and password that you registered with on the TSM website. Log in. Yes, you accept the terms of use. Okay, now add-on versions are up to date and okay there we go it took a minute for us when we first brought this up this was blank and then I clicked over here and clicked back and it updated so we want to see EU US and any realms that we have listed on trade skill master should be here up to date and that's good that's good to go now add-on versions this is gonna just tell you if you have the these add-ons if they're up to date Just useless information really backups accounting export don't worry about any of that the only thing you really want to be concerned with is settings um, make sure your wow directory is set correctly it should find it automatically like I have mine my wow is on an external hard drive so if yours is set to the wrong location just hit browse and find your world of warcraft folder um, and we're really worried about these settings right here run at startup yes we want this application to run when we start our computer and we want it to minimize it to the system tray so it's not hanging out on our action bar all the time. And start minimize. Yes, when this when we restart our computer, we want this to automatically open up the application, automatically log in, automatically go down to the taskbar where we don't have to worry about it. We know it's there and we know it's running. Boom. Okay. Notifications. Um, anytime TSM. Uh, desktop app updates the realm data and add-on needs an update or whatever it's going to pop up with a little notification window down here it can get a little annoying sometimes i turn off the realm data one uh new backup created updated app news uh, i mean if the add-on needs an update yeah i don't want to see that other than that this other stuff i just um, i uncheck it nothing to worry about here nothing to worry about there that's it hit done and minimize okay now that's going to minimize to the system tray we don't have to worry about it we know our data is there we know it's updated as it told us now all we have to do is close out of our wow and reopen it and enable the add-on so i'm going to go ahead and just exit the game real quick Okay, now we click our add-ons and make sure that Trade Skill Master and all 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 modules are all enabled. Mm, I don't know about this item tracker. That's a mistake. That shouldn't be there. You won't see item tracker. 
if you do disable it, that's from an old version and that it's no longer supported. So if you have item tracker, they'll just give you an error, but that shouldn't matter. Because that's actually built into the regular TSM app. Now when we log in, let's take a look at our tooltip. Wow, look at all this information we have now. Before we had none of this. All we had was the vendor sell price. And now we've got our invent we've got inventory information and our TSM auction DB information, which is our bread and butter. That's our auctioning stuff. That's gonna let us know about roughly what these items are worth, what we can sell them for, what we should expect to get out of them if we decide to auction them. So the only thing we have left to do now is to create a profile. Um, that way all the settings that we have are saved. We don't have to worry about losing them. That way we can use them on other characters. Uh, so it's not just set to one. And we will configure the tooltip to make it a little bit more cohesive and shrink it down a little bit because it's, it's a little bit overwhelming to start. A lot of numbers going on here. So either you can open up TSM two ways. Either click Trade Skill Master, the icon, if for some reason that's not showing, just type slash TSM, and that's going to open up the main configuration window. And the first thing we're going to do is create a profile. Uh, the second uh, button up here says options. Click there. In the middle here, you're just going to choose profiles. It should be on default, but we're going to create a new profile. And just name it whatever you'd like. I'm just going to name mine mankind. Okay. Perfect, now we have our own profile. The next thing we're gonna do is configure our tooltip. And we're already in the options, which is where the tooltip options are located. So if you clicked out of it, you just click options and down to tooltips. We are not changing anything in accounting, um, auctioning, crafting, or shopping. Feel free to look at those uh, on your own if there's something in there that, that you might think is worth changing. Go ahead. Uh, the only thing I'm really concerned about right now is auction DB, and that's our auctioning prices. Uh, I leave four out of the six of these default ones clicked. I uncheck two of these, and I'll, I'll show you which ones. Display, uh, we'll start at the first one, display minimum buyout and tooltip. I always leave this displayed. It's, it's very nice information. For example, we look at this tooltip. I can see that TSM auction DB, when this item was scanned, 18 minutes ago okay there was five auctions on the auction house and the minimum buyout was 340 gold so if i'm off somewhere farming and i loot this item i automatically can say oh look 18 minutes ago if i wanted to buy this on the auction house the minimum price was 340 gold so that's that's definitely useful i always keep that there uh, the next op option that they have checked is display market value and tooltip you always want to know what the market value is for items on your server it's only going to be specific to the server you're on currently. Um, it's not uh, if you have multiple servers checked in the uh, desktop application for prices. It's only going to display market value prices for the server you're currently on. So, in case you were wondering, so definitely always want to know what the market value is because they constantly change. The third option they have checked is display region market value average. Now, this to me is the bread and butter. This is the price I use most when I do any kind of auctioning. And what that price is, is it takes all the servers in your region, which your region is either US or EU, takes all the market values for this item on every server and averages them together to get one price. So if I want consistent and fairly reliable sale prices, that's, that's the one I always use. Your market value is always skewed go up and go down it changes all the time but the region market value average for a lot of times it's going to stay fairly consistent i've had decent luck with it that's always what i use um, so i always have that displayed now the next option they have is display region sale average i the prices are always a little wonky i don't prefer it i just uncheck it uh, the next two options uh, the next one you have display region sale rate 
that's just the rate at which something could sell. I don't prefer that in my tooltip. The last one they have checked is display region average daily sold quantity. Now that, to some people that's useful, and I, I can see that. You know, if you loot something, you're like, oh, I wonder how long that's going to take me to sell. Well, the average daily sold for this item is, I mean, it's almost one, so. It's, it's just a use, I guess this could be a useful piece of information. I don't prefer it. I usually uncheck it, but that's preference. I know a lot of people do like that, and I'm kind of glad that TSM put that into their tooltip options, because I know a lot of people do like it. Me personally, I uncheck it, but feel free to check that box if you prefer that. Now, the last four options they have here are the same as the region ones but these are global because you have for example global market value average instead of region market value it is the same thing it works the same way except for it takes all the market values for US realms and all the market values for EU realms and it combines them together and gets one total for both I usually don't use this price because the values are usually way different, like a lot. Just for an example, look at this combat shotgun. The region market value for US servers is 8 gold. But if you combine the EU and US prices, it's 17. It's more than double. It's very different. I don't use it. I don't recommend using it. I don't even display it because it can get very confusing. Um, but the option is there, is there if you want it, and that's that's what it is when it's talking about global global prices, that's EU and US combined. Um, so now you can see we've, cond we've condensed our TSM auction DB to three prices. Looks a little better, it's easier to follow, um, you can kind of get a better idea of what things are worth. Um, the only other thing we're going to change is we're going to go to tooltip options. Um, I usually change the text format to the coins. I like to see the coins. That's completely your preference. Um, the next thing that I change is the display vendor sell price in tooltip. By default, there's already a vendor sell price, as you can see. Um, and where is it? Yep, under required level. Required level eight sell price. So, it's kind of, you know, why are we going to use it twice? So, I usually uncheck it. You don't have to, but I do. I like to condense my tooltips as much as possible. Uh, the last thing we're going to change is destroy values. I always uncheck prospect value. I don't know why it's there. Transform value. Uh, the only ones I really keep up are disenchant and mill value in tooltip. And if you hover over, let's say, a piece of gear... And let's see, Trade Skill Master Info, our disenchant value. If we disenchant this item, we're going to get approximately two gold worth of enchanting mats. Okay, that's good information to know, but we can take that one step further. Maybe I want to know what kind of materials I'm going to get for that. What is actually is am I going to get that's going to give me two gold? So if you check this box here, Display Detail, Destroy Tooltips, that is going to display... Um, Approximately what you should expect to receive when you disenchant this item. Disenchant value, it's going to show you the total, and then the breakdown. Strange Dust times 0.3, and Greater Magic Essence times 0.4. So that's roughly the chance of what the items are you're going to receive when you disenchant it. It's good information if you have a disenchanter, or you want to know what items are going to be disenchanted into. Um, if if that's something you're not going to use, it does kind of take up a lot of space in the tooltip. So a lot of times I have it turned off, and then if I'm doing something specific where I would like to know that, I just go in here and I just check it so I can see. But by default right now, we'll leave it on for now. But that's all I do when I set up my tooltips. I have that way I have some good price information, and and that's it. That the video is only taking us probably about probably only been about 10 or 15 minutes to set up we downloaded the add-on okay you've learned how to set up the desktop application and how to configure your tooltips so you can see on the go pricing for when you're farming or when you're doing an instance or what have you when someone posts something on the auction house and you want to know what the price is, hey, what's the value of that and then you can just click on it and boom it's going to show you so you can get a pretty good idea um, 
that's all I'm going to do for this tutorial. Be sure to check out my next video, which I'm going to show you guys how to take these items and items that you farm or want to sell and put them into the groups and post them onto the auction house using the accounting uh, and auctioning uh, modules. So be sure to check out that video when it comes out. Uh, if you like this video, if it helped you out, please like, share, comment, subscribe. I want to hear from you guys. Please feel free to tr check me out on twitch.tv slash xmankindx. I'll put the link for that in the description. Uh, live stream gold farming a couple nights a week. Um, any, any, um, any support would be appreciated. Um, and I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.